Hey everybody, this is Jackson Tank, and welcome to Papa's Bible Minutes. Today's lesson is, who's in control? Now let's sit back and relax and join Papa. Hi everyone, this is Papa, and welcome to Papa's Bible Minutes. I have to say I've missed you. It's been about five weeks since I've done one of these videos, but I was pretty sick. And we're better now, and we're back in business. Today I want to talk to you about a story that's contained in the Gospel of Mark in chapter 1. And what I, uh, it's, it's about control and, and Jesus making commands and stuff. But before we get there, I want to show you something that I'm positive all of you know what it is. And it's a remote control. Now with this remote control, we can do a lot of things. Like right up here. That's the power button. Push it, TV or stereo, whatever comes on. Push again, goes off. Here's a select button. On the side, I've got uh, volume up, volume down. Um, this controls the channels right here. And there's many other things that can be done by uh, this remote. And if you had one that was, say, for the old VCRs, which many of you don't even know what they are, well, you could rewind with it. And uh, even with DVDs, you could go back in your picture. So, about this Bible lesson. It's out of Mark, 20, Mark 1, 21 to 28. And that's where Jesus is showing his amazing control of everything around him. Now, it was a Sabbath. And uh, that would have been for... Uh, the Jewish people that Jesus was part of, it would have been from Friday at sunset until Saturday at sunset. And Jesus went to the synagogue and he began to teach. But there was a man there that was possessed by an evil spirit. And Jesus went near him. And when he did, the man cried out, What do you want with us, Jesus? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are. You are the Holy One of God. Well, Jesus says to him, be quiet. And then he spoke to the evil spirit, come out. And you know what happened? The evil spirit did exactly, exactly what Jesus commanded. And it came out of the man. Now, the Bible tells us that the people were amazed, and they looked at one another and asked, man, what's going on here? Even the evil spirits obey his orders. You see, there was power in the word that Jesus spoke that day. On that day, Jesus came in and took control of the life of that man, and his life would never, ever be the same. And you see, Jesus wants to be in control of our life as well. He wants to be in control of the plans that we make and the words that we say, the things that we do, and the places that we go. Why? Is Jesus this huge control freak? No, I'm, because you see, God gives us free will to choose whether we follow Jesus and put him in control of our life or we don't. He wants to be in control because he knows what is best for us. Now, that's kind of hard for us, especially those of us here in Western culture, especially those of us in the United States, especially those of us in Mississippi, because we don't want anybody telling us what's best for us, right? But you see, we do know that God has a plan for us. It's a good plan that will give us hope and a bright future. But you see, we will never see that plan come to fruition unless we allow Jesus to be in control. There's an old saying that God is in control. No, he's not, unless we allow him to be in control. Dear God, we want Jesus to be in control of our life. We know that he wants what is best for us. And that is what we want too. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.
so we'll watch our little video and i'll be back next week and we'll have a little bit longer uh longer session but until then god bless you and we'll see you next week i love you and so does god bye the bible tells about a very interesting thing that happened in mark 1 21 to 28. I've asked my friend Chip to join us today. Jesus and his followers went to Capernaum. And when the Sabbath came, Jesus went into the synagogue and began to teach. A synagogue is like a church. Jesus went to church that day. The people were amazed at Jesus' teaching because he taught them as one who had authority, not as the teachers of the law. You see, Jesus knew the Bible better than anyone because, you know, the Bible is his book. Okay, back to what happened. Jesus was teaching with authority. Just then, a man in their synagogue who was possessed by an impure spirit cried out. Um, what? <clears throat> I said, just then, a man in their synagogue who was possessed by an impure spirit cried out. Yeah, I, I thought that's what you said. And? Okay, okay, so this guy had an evil spirit in him. I mean, like, possessed? Like the devil and all? That's right. The man cried out, What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Um, say what? That's what the man with the evil spirit said. You mean the evil spirit spoke? Right, and he said he knew that Jesus was the Son of God. Then what happened? Well, Jesus commanded him, Be quiet said Jesus sternly. Come out of him! That's right, you tell him, Jesus. The impure spirit shook the man violently and came out of him with a shriek. The people were all so amazed. I bet they were. Pardon me, I was saying. The people were all so amazed that they asked each other, What is this? A new teaching? And with authority? He even gives orders to impure spirits and they obey him. Holy moly, that Jesus is something else. I mean, the power, the authority. I'd say Jesus was in control of that situation. <laughs> news about Jesus spread quickly over the whole region of Galilee. I bet the news did spread, and it's going to spread in our town too, because I'm going to tell all my friends about it. Jesus showed everyone that he is in control. <laughs>